Alright, what's poppin'? It's your boy Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Wednesday afternoon business, a business suit, as they say. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, wipe your feet on the rug, throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I just lit up a little bit of black diamond, very earthy and very spicy. I like it. It's interesting. Let's get right into business. Coming out of gangsterreport.com by the world famous Scott Bernstein. Let's get busy. The great COVID con job. Buffalo Mafia scamster Joe Bella was offering fake COVID-19 tests for $29.99. I, I just have to laugh because, you know, this is America, baby. And uh, it always makes me laugh when somebody comes up with another way to uh, try to scheme and they get caught. It is what it is. Buffalo mob associate and con man Joe Bella was busted for a pandemic profiteering by selling fraudulent COVID-19 test kits at the peak of last year's coronavirus lockdown. The Buffalo News first reported on the details of Bella's case last Tuesday. Bella, 48, is connected to recently deceased Buffalo Mafia capo Frank Bucci Bifocos Bifulco. He is facing drugs and weapons charges stemming from an April 2020 raid at his home and office where the feds found guns, ammunition, and a bank account for a sketchy online disaster prep business storing 115000 in it. Federal authorities are expected to indict him soon on fraud charges related to bogus $29.99 priced crisis kits and more than 150000 in COVID-19 relief he pilfered for himself in disaster loans and pandemic payroll protection plan payouts from the U.S. government. Bella has pled not guilty in his current case. So what do you tell me? You could just go onto this website and say you own a company and they'll send you money. They don't want paperwork or anything like that. I say this is entrapment. This is what I say. The FBI has investigated Bella for drug trafficking in Buffalo to a series of bars and ties to Butchy Bifocals and retired DEA agent Joe Bongiovanni. DEA agents and U.S. Border Patrol have surveilled Bella, making trips between New York and Canada, some in a boat ferrying narcotics. Authorities found pictures and videos of Bella and Bifulcho on Bella's cell phone in a detainment at the border five years ago. Renaissance man, mobster Butchie Bifocals, died of natural causes back in October at 76 years old after decades of wowing the western New York underworld with his trademark gangland innovation. Bon Giovanni retired from the DEA in 2019 and was quickly arrested for taking bribes from organized crime figures like the Buffalo Mob and reputed boss Joseph Big Joe Todaro Jr., specifically Big Joe strip club owner nephew Peter Giracci Jr. He has a rap sheet that includes the assault of a police officer. One New York Police Department memo circulated in the Homeland Security Department two years ago named Bella as a go-between for Buffalo's Magadino crime family and New York and New York's Colombo crime family. The memo claims Colombo wise guys referred to Bella as Joe Beauty. First of all, salute to Scott Bernstein for the report. Uh, Joe, what can I say? Listen, I'm rooting for you here. Great article, Joe. I hope you get out of trouble with this one. Like, comment, share. Let me know what you're smoking on, and we will talk soon. Salute.